G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live at Townsville, North Queensland. This is where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. You're looking at one of my concrete hives where I've set up an eduction, induction, bud, I don't know the bloody term. It's a baby hive connected to the mother hive and what they do is they fill this up full of stores and then a queen moves across and takes residence and you can take the hive away and make a new hive. Now, how do you know you're successful in doing one of these things without opening the hive? Well, if you're lucky enough like I am, you capture a mating swarm about to leave. And when you capture that, you know for certain there is a queen about to be mated and high probability, 95%, that queen is for the new hive. So if you look at the entrance here, you will see a bee climb in the wall. You'll see a bee down there. And just normal activity at the entrance. Nothing unusual there much, except where's that bee climbing to, I wonder? Oh, look at that. These are males. And they're all getting ready to mate. And they fly off and come back to this spot. They're waiting for something. And you don't have to be Einstein to work out what they're waiting for, for they're flying off, just out here from under the awning, to a little spot just out here. And there's males flying around here, just the odd one or two, they fly up for a while, hover, go back. You just know what they're waiting for. So this is a sign that a mating swarm is coming. Now, to catch it is the trick. Well, the waiting game just continues. We've got males at the front, males on the top, males flying off out, hovering out here, and then they fly back into the hive, telling you that she hasn't officially mated yet, so the males are still being accepted. Although you're seeing just here at the very front, the first male being turned away from trying to go inside the hive. You can see him there being pushed out by the guard bee. So we've got everything still looking good. The only problem I've got is twofold. One, sometimes Hocking's eyes, for whatever reason, mate inside the hive, and I hope that doesn't happen. And two, I may have even missed the mating swarm altogether, and these are the residual bees. I don't think so, but all we can do is wait and see. And at the moment, things have just died right down now. Only a few males left up here, and they're flying out. So, let's sum this up. What have I witnessed? Well, obviously the males came out for a reason, and it wasn't to sun themselves. I look out here at the front and there's no more males in this area here hovering. Now when you get a mating swarm it's generally at the front of the hive or near the hive so the queen can go out, do her business and just duck back in again. So what have I witnessed here? The sheer fact that many of these males can fly back into the entrance suggests to me I have just witnessed, yes, a virgin queen mating but she didn't mate out here she mated in there and it's another in-house mating that I've witnessed what the males do is they try to decide do I go outside or inside and obviously some went outside to do the dirty but she never came why because she was having a romp on the inside. So this is the behavior you see when there's an in-hive mating. Further evidence that the in-house mating has occurred is we can see on day two, some males have come out, not as many as yesterday, some males still climbing the hive showing you that they've come out of the hive 
But these are males who have sort of, um, if, if you like, missed the boat. They can sense something has happened, and they just come out hoping. But it's not these males that I want you to look at. Hang on while I get at the right angle. Look at that poor male bee there being attacked by a guard bee. You can see him there. What's happening today is rather simple. Yesterday, the males could easily run back into the hive. Now, what happens is if a male leaves the hive, he is attacked and told, get out, you're not welcome. This is a sure sign I've had an in-house mating and that any male that decides to leave the hive, like these buggers all up the wall and up here, if they want to leave the hive, that's fine. They're not welcome back because the mating has been done. So, another healthy sign. And if you look carefully, look at the guard bees coming out. They're deliberately going out, chasing away any male trying to get back into the hive. Look at them all being chased away. You can see it there. It's classic sign I've had an in-house mating and now the males aren't welcome. Yesterday, they were welcome back with open arms because they were needed. Today, nope. Get out of our hive. We don't want you.